Hello, everyone. It's your boy, Mustard Boy, back again with another crappy logo video. Look, I know that my uploading schedule has been inconsistent lately, but recently I got bogged down with a lot of homework and projects, and I have to get ready for high school next year. Not only that, but Kyle Logo Guy and I were working on some projects a couple months ago, and we never really got around to finishing those either. So, yeah, my schedule has been kind of packed lately. Also, I'm not really thrilled about YouTube's algorithm thing. Or Article 13. But I wanted to work on something that would be a little side project. Something that's not really in the realm of a top 10 list, but more of a quick-ish video. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the first ever top 5 list on my channel. The top 5 creepiest British logos. Ah, Britain. The land of BBC America. The royal family and... Defeat against the Americans in the American Revolution. Eh, we might as well get started already. This logo has pretty much the worst effect on me on almost every single level. First, music. Not only is it stolen, but it's also really bombastic and the high pitch does not work for the type of logo that it is. In fact, the music is the reason why I'm not only scared of this logo, but why I also hate this logo. As for the animation, yeah, it kind of looks dated for its time. The quality isn't necessarily great. Also, I think that the AV is supposed to stand for audio visual, but the AV in the logo feels out of place. Overall, this is a logo that I would very much like to skip whenever I get the chance. Moving on. <laughs> Well, what else can I really say about this logo that hasn't been said already? The music is depressing and the animation is... odd. The guy playing the piano notes must be really depressed because the music for this logo sounds like it was being played in a funeral. Also, the animation is kind of alien-like. I mean, what are those colored beams supposed to be under the letters? Are they supposed to give a highlight of some sort? It doesn't help either that the logo takes place on a black background. I was definitely freaked out by this logo when I was a child. I would watch lots of Wallace and Gromit specials on DVD, and at the beginning and the end of them, I would normally see the BBC logo. Sometimes I would end up curling my whole body on a couch. And it was mainly because of this logo. So it's no wonder that this logo deserves the number four spot on this list. Beatles even thinking when they were taking LSD. Okay, well I can only imagine that it might have been this. But seriously, to start with, 
The synthesizer in this logo reminds me of Zombastic Productions, mainly because of how it's just so many random notes in one musical piece. And the animation is um choppy and confusing. Like, why is there an apple in outer space? Okay, well, other than the Beatles having a massive LSD trip. At least a green apple on a black background makes more sense. You could probably imagine what my reaction was when I first saw the logo. I hated it. A lot. The synthesizer was bad enough, but I also hated the loud whoosh sounds and then the be 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 and the top it all off. The cuckoo sound at the end really ticked my buttons. It came out of nowhere. It was just like cuckoo. And that was it. But uh, yeah, I would appreciate it if we move on from there. <laughs> Yep, that's definitely a jump scare logo, all right. The animation is um, kind of simple, and yet it's also dated. But the music? Holy crap does it do a good job at scaring the hell out of you. You start out with these synth drums. Dun, 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 dun. And then all of a sudden, there's this loud, shredding guitar. And then, dun, dun. In fact, that orchestra piece at the end is mainly what creeped me out the most. I even consider it to be scarier than its cousin, Castle Home Video. But yes, this one also creeped me out when I was 10. And it definitely deserves a spot on this list. Before we move on to the number one spot, I want to clarify a few things. First off, I'm sorry that I scared you with that Bravo logo. I originally didn't want to put it on the list, so I saved it as an honorable mention. And I mainly didn't want to put it on the list, mainly because, well, all of their indents are basically disturbing and obscene, and yeah, I'm not a big fan of putting obscene content on this channel. Secondly, I put Palace Video as an honorable mention, mainly because people are still scared of it, even though I'm not. But, uh, yeah. Just letting you know about some things. Alright, let's get to the number one, shall we? <laughs> I seriously have to talk about ITC Entertainment again? <sighs> Fine, I will. First off, that diamond or whatever it is spinning is just absolutely bizarre. I have no other words for it. 
and the fact that it's on a star background just makes it even weirder. Heck, I can imagine the star background combined with the spinning diamond being able to cause people seizures. And second, Jack Parnell's symphony is loud and bombastic. In fact, that was one of the reasons why I couldn't stand looking at the logo. I would literally be frozen in place. And then when I went to sleep, I would constantly think about that logo because of that stupid music. So yeah, absurd shapes combined with bombastic music can uh, ultimately make for a very scary logo for some viewers. Yeah, thanks a lot ITC Entertainment. Also, when I say creepy British logos, and I should have said this at the beginning of the video, I don't mean that the country itself is bad. I just mean that some of their logos can kind of creep me out. But that doesn't mean that the country is creepy. But honestly, it was actually fun looking at all the weird and scary logos from a specific country. I might actually do it more often in the future. So, if you have any suggestions for which countries I should visit to look at some scary logos, now feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, I'm planning to start a new series called Scary Logo Companies. My purpose for the show is to give some insight and info into the company that made specific scary logos. And it's also used to analyze the scary logos based on their music, animation, and other factors. So if you have any suggestions for episodes, for this particular series, then feel free to let me know in the comments. Alright, well, that basically concludes the video. I've been Scary Entertainment Nostalgia Fun, and I am out of here. I don't know what other outro to do. Roll the credits! Fake plastic cobra?